Well, guys, since we're all here, what do you guys want me to do? I think we should see if the story is true about the witch and the warlock, about the stories up behind. Sounds interesting. You guys up for the test? Get sure. a little creep? Yeah. Um, do you guys really believe in that nonsense, though? Uh, not. Nah. I don't think so. I don't believe it at all, but I'd like to try to see if it is true about all that kills and all that. I don't know guys, maybe it might not be such a good idea. Oh come on, it'd be fun. That one seems a little scared. Yeah. Well, you know, things could happen. What if it's true? Or what if it's not? And what if it's all a lie? Yeah, I mean, who believes in that stuff anyways? I mean, it's all bullcrap. Guess we're gonna have to find out? Yeah. Mm, I guess, I mean, I doubt anything's gonna happen, I mean, it's stories that's been told to us there's no actual proof yeah i mean what i mean what can worse happen you know like what me get my heart ripped or something that or someone's gonna pee themselves yeah. oh gosh you guys better have extra clothes for me if i do <laughs> you can't make fun of me you can't tell anyone we won't we'll keep it secret promise that's my heart hope to die all right well, then i'm in what about you little one do it you're not gonna scream your little panties off i might mm. she will <laughs> Well guys, since we're all down for this, um, I got a surprise for you guys. We might actually be able to bring someone here to an interview with us while we're doing this tour with us. See if we can have proof that this story isn't true or not. See, the thing about that is you're going to have someone come and do the interviews. She or he or whoever it is could just make up a story based on what we say and what I'm talking about. Like, oh, you say something, something, but that's keywords for them to make up this big story about everything. Yeah, pretty much. Do we have to pay them? No, this person should be free as long as it has pay, uh, proved that we're, the story is not true or not. Because this person would loves to use its interviews for college and all that. So we'd basically be helping each other out. Yeah, pretty much. It'd be helping one person and be helping us. So guys, I heard about this legend. And I mean, it sounds really cool. I guess there was this old couple that lived in this house and this tree grew up through it. And for some reason, the people in the town kind of thought they were witches. And so they decided, I don't know who it was, but somebody like hung up a dead body in the tree of a little kid. And so everybody thought they were witches and they got framed for murder. And I guess you're supposed to be able to see like the spirits of the people, of the witches, or the witch and the guy and the kid who was hung in the tree. And I mean, I guess it's around here. So if you guys would want to go check it out, maybe. Yeah, definitely. I think we should check this out because I want to see if it's all true about the story on how it all started and everything everything about the uh, kid and hanging up tree and the tree itself and see if the spirits are actually there or not well see i mean i do but i don't because like i don't really believe in it all but like i'm up for a good adventure i think it'll be fun i don't think it's true like they don't exist so sure? how would that happen you sure you're just not scared hun are you sure don't you want a good adventure some fun get away from everything you know just I mean, don't you want to see if it's actually all true and everything? Maybe see some ghosts? Yeah, like, see, I don't believe in it, but yet I'm still wanting to go do it and have some fun. Because what if it does happen? I mean, that'd be pretty If it does happen, we could have some pretty cool stories to tell later on. And some pants to wash, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> what do you say? Go. I think we should do it. I think we should. Are you up for it, hun? Sounds good, guys. Are you sure? Okay. No backing out. No matter Last how scary chance. you get. So why are the interviews coming? So that we, we can show the whole world that if they do film this, that the story isn't true about the whole, situ the whole story on the witch and the warlock. Who are we interviewing? Uh, a friend of mine that's be coming down from the south of us. They're going to be coming up here to interview with us and all that. Just to have a quick film and all that. And some stories over the whole idea of the witch and the warlock and see if it's all true about the whole spirit. So just people who know stuff about it yeah don't we need like experience with the whole place like should we go check it out first do we a little can... research yeah do a little real research before we get interviewed <laughs> i don't think i mean it all depends i guess i think we should just wait on the interview person so that when everyone's here we can all go at one i mean better that way experience it all together yes that or you seem a little scared yourself no whatever <laughs> I ain't scared of nothing. Now or never. I'm in. You guys in? Hey guys, how you doing? Nice to meet you. I'm Amber. I'm Michael. Nice to meet you too. Hey. Michael. Hey, I'm Mitchell. Amber. Hi. 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 Hi
So hey guys, this is my buddy that I was talking about, Mitchell, and I guess he brought his friends too to do the interview, just for a learning experience and all that. And Mitchell, we're gonna be talking about uh, Witch and the Warlock story, see if it's all true, and it'll be helpful for you for proof and all that for down the road for your college and all that. And then afterwards, we should build a snowman. Snowman. You gonna make Olaf up in here? <laughs> do you wanna build a snowman? Snow anyway, does. So since we're all here guys and you obviously want to make a snowman down the road I think we should pair off in groups so we could get started on our interviews and all that and the whole story on the whole the Warlock and the Witch story is even true about the whole thing. So what I'm thinking you two should pair up you should pair up with my buddy Mitchell and us two will go with Autumn so that way we can start our own stories and all that and separate them and when we all come together to the tree I think we should all talk about the tree story about the whole bat scene. Even though I don't believe in this bullcrap, maybe if we can get the warlock to bring Olaf to life. We build them. <laughs> I think that would be awesome. You are the witch. Heck we would yeah. have the biggest Maybe self fight. Alright, let's get okay. the story, guys. Alright. All right. Come on. Yeah. So, do you really believe in them? So, I guess we're doing interviews and I'm interviewing you. It's basically going to be about, like, stories and stuff you know about the witch and the warlock. Have you heard a lot about them? I was told, like, by my grandma back in the day that the witch and the warlock, um, they were accused of witchcraft and sorcery by um, the townspeople and they banned them to the woods and they were stoned and they were they were outcast from the entire like village and when they died they came back and I guess whoever goes into the woods or whatever they end up magically like disappearing that or dying. Crazy. Sounds crazy. It is. People just disappear? Yeah. Wasn't there something about, like, a kid in the tree? I don't know, like, that was so long ago that I heard it. I don't know much about it, but, like, the part that really stuck in my mind was, I guess, they framed them and, like, hung a kid in their well, tree? We came, me and my buddies, we came out here one time, just to check out all this, and as we were walking towards the tree, we kept hearing, like, faint cackling in the distance. And then when we were about halfway through to the tree, we just heard shake just took off. So you sure it just wasn't no animal? We made sure before we took off, we just quickly scanned everything. Didn't see anything at all. Just up in the trees, it was just shake. Maybe it could have been just the wind. There was no wind. Are you sure about that? Yeah. Because there are, like, breezes all around, even if you can't feel them because, you know, you gotta get up that mileage of the wind. It was the whole all at the exact same time. So I'm sure there's some type of draft going on. Maybe if like it was hot and cold, the air mixed like what a tornado would. So it might have made the breezes going around in the trees. I mean it could have, it's a possible thing. I mean I don't know, I'm not really a believer. I'm just here for the fun, so believe what you wanna believe, but out there you could get killed with all that. That's just the way I'm acting. I'm a yeah. I don't want to go back out there. Mm, I don't know. I'd rather not be put into a psych ward believing all that nonsense. I'm sorry, but I don't believe in it. That's how I was brought up. But I mean, even if it was to Maybe be true, who knows where this experience will take us. It might open me up a bit, but I honestly don't believe it. It's just how I was raised. I don't even believe in the afterlife. I just believe we all rot in the ground. You'll be believing after this. So since we're here and we're on our tr walking our trail and all that, we're in the woods and all that, I think we should just get started on our interview and about the whole story and the whole idea of it and what we learned and what we know from our previous stories from our grandparents and all that. And my question is to you guys, like, what do you guys think about the whole idea of it? Like, do you guys think you believe in the stories and all that? Well, when I was younger, I got scared by my my grandparents that used to tell me this this whole story and I'm just I'm not entirely sure if I believe it or not but it still scares me to think about like, it. Like what have they told you like from the story they have told you about it like any nightmares or anything about the whole idea about the witch and warlock? When I was younger when they told me the stories I, I did used to have nightmares from it. About like what kind of nightmares like the witch coming up to you, yeah, something or how like, that. like the whole spirit thing is all true in the tree, you saw it yourself, and all that. 
Yeah, it was something like that. It was really scary. Yeah, my, my grandparents had told me the same story about it. I mean, I don't personally believe it myself. I mean, that's why I do believe we're here, just to see if it's all true about the whole idea of the whole story. Yeah. So that we could have proof if it's true or not. So that way the whole world would know that the whole story about... I'm here. I just, I really, really want to know for if it's really true or not. Hey guys, how'd your interview go? Yeah, it's alright. I'm you... still not believing anything. Honestly, I'm sorry, but I don't. <laughs> I'm kind of scared now that we've been talking about it more. Kind of starting to believe it, but not quite yet. So what are you thinking? You thinking about backing out or something? Nah. No. Letting that bullcrap get to you? Nah. What about you, dear? What do you think about um, it all? Um, well, I'm a little more scared skeptical about doing it than I was before now that I know more about it. Oh, come on. I mean, what's ba how bad can it be? All we have is our word. We don't have no physical proof, and that's where I stand at. If I don't have the physical proof, uh-uh, out the door for me. But what if we do get physical proof and something bad? Or what if nothing doesn't happen and it was just all a lie? I mean, so we're willing to take a chance. Well, I mean, I'm still down to do it. It's just... I'm a little bit scared. Do you need some toilet paper for you? <laughs> I might. You should, you should keep some just in case. Uh, I'll think about it. We promise we'll stay together. Hey guys, so I, we all agreed that we're going to still go through the trail and all that? Like, yeah, who doesn't want a good adventure? I mean, come I on now. Yeah. We're teens for all crying out loud. Young adults, we got to have some fun for life. I know, right? Come on, I go to waste. Hi, guys. Hi, how Hi. you doing? Hi. I'm Terry. I'm Erica. I'm Taylor. I'm Kaylee. I'm Michael. You guys ready to go through the trail? Yeah, I'm yeah, sure. I suppose. I mean, what all do we have I'm to do? I'm so lose? excited about it right now. Hey, gotta okay. get some adventure going on. Who knows what we'll see? There's all kinds of things. All right, you guys can come on. We'll start with All right, sounds good to me. And it was always their fault. You know, they were blamed for anything strange and unusual. Now, why would why would you think that it was their fault? Like, why would the villagers think that they're the witches and warlock? Because they were so secluded all of the time. Like, they never went out. You know, um, they just kept to themselves. So they were always keeping it to themselves and keeping it quiet, away from the others. And so everybody thought they were a witch and a warlock. So, the, the legend goes, you know, there was a kid hung up in a tree by their house. Uh, the villagers framed them. Now, by when you say by them, them saying that... Oh. So, how would you think that you would know that people okay. would... You look at down there. This legend, it's not just a legend. Something really happened here. Are you alright? Right? No, no, I mean, nothing. You need to take a sit, it's okay, we can have you sit down and take a break. Are you still gonna do it? No, I, I, I can't do this. Why? I mean, it's just, it's just a story. I mean, and it's not a story. Think of the, what's gonna happen for Come this on. film. You have you proof, you will be it's famous. Nonsense. It's nonsense! Let her go. Come on guys, we'll do this ourselves. Yeah. We got this. Okay. Guys, 
here's the trail. I guess we're, we don't need her, so you guys ready to go? I yeah. mean, it's now or never. I mean, I highly doubt it's like even, if there's even a witch or a warlock, there's no footsteps back there whatsoever. All the stories, they don't walk. Yeah, but what if the story's all a myth? If you're talking about not? that broomstick nonsense, that's so Halloween town, okay? That shit is not real. It's not real. Calm your, calm yourself. Okay? I mean, who gives a damn it's what if there is here. or I mean, is not? You it's know? raining and we're out here. Are you sure you want some toilet paper? I think you're gonna need a whole pack. You just bring some rain. Yeah. <laughs> we'll cross that bridge when I have this. Wait, you're ready? Let's go. Yeah, yeah. I mean, come on. Let's get this oh. show on the road. I'm ready. Am I supposed to just wait here, or...? Are you okay with that? I guess so, yeah. Okay, I'm here. Alright. Don't leave me here! Come back soon! I'm... It's creepy out here. something around here. Yeah, man. I'm freaking frozen like, dude. This, I thought this was gonna be fun. It's pretty good. Do you think you, do you see what I'm seeing? Do something, do something! starting to creep the shit out of me. Like, what? You look behind you! Do it behind you! Oh, 
you guys have just watched the Hangman's Witch movie. Um, don't judge me on it. It's my first time kind of using special effects in movies. I'm kind of still getting used to it, but I think I did pretty well. Um, I want to give special thanks to the Crooked Smiles Entertainment team. Um, I want to give special thanks to Andrea Williams and Nick Faulkner for doing great on makeup. I want to give also a really, really big respect for Craig Lemons and Paisley Blackburn for doing this film with us and helping us out with everything. What the story is really about what the Heyman's, um, the Heyman's Witch was a story basically that was told to me when I was a kid by my father. In Lakeville, um, there's a funeral home now. I think it's called Palmer's Funeral Home. I'm not quite sure. There used to be a house there when my dad was little um, that had a tree that grew through it. Um, even though, like I said, we exaggerated this story, of course, because it's a movie. Um, but what was told to me was that these two women lived in this tree. Or lived in this tree. Lived in this house that had the tree. And what they did was they always kept to themselves. They never harmed anybody. never really talked to anybody. They only came out at night time to go to the grocery store and all kinds of stuff like that. Nobody really knew anything about them. Um, what happened with them was they were accused of being witches and doing witchcraft. Um, and they were stoned, which was throwing stones at them. They were cursed, they were beaten, and all kinds of stuff when people had the opportunity of Lakeville. Now this was a story that happened that happened long, long ago. They said when it was when my dad was a child. Um, he said that, of course, you know, when you go there, there's no remains of it left. But he said also, too, there is a cabin that is in Riddles Lake. Um, it's an old abandoned cabin um, that has trees around it that actually looks like hands um, going down to the doorway, which is weird. I've never checked it out before, but my dad's always told me that kind of story. Um, so that's kind of where I got this point of the story um, with everything. Um, if you enjoyed this film, like I said, I want to give a special thanks to everybody that was a part of this film, especially the makeup crew, Timeline Art Studios, and also the Crooked Smiles Entertainment team members. You guys all did an awesome job. I hope this was a very, very good experience for you. We will be having upcoming movies coming soon. Um, we've had a, a little bit of a couple things that's happened um, with casts and stuff like that, with cancellations, which is fine. Things happen. So movies will be coming soon. I guarantee it. Um, I'm not sure exactly what kind of movies we're going to go into next, so stay tuned. Make sure you check out the other playlist of interviews from this movie, and also, too, of the other movies that we have produced. Make sure to subscribe, comment, and like. Check us out. Go to our like page at CSEKP smiles entertainment production film company i think that's correct if not if you look in the description below there is information for the like page so you can check that out also too i will leave information in the description also too if you were to become a member of crooked smiles entertainment thank you and i hope you enjoyed this movie